<laughs> Let the madness begin. The Big Blue Nation is ready for the basketball cats to tip things off the postseason tonight. Kentucky takes on Alabama in the quarterfinals of the SEC tournament in Nashville. WKYT's Dave Baker and Jennifer Palumbo are live outside Bridgestone Arena, the center of all the excitement. How about it, guys? Hey, tell Captain Weather we got an eyewitness report for him. That's right. The it's, showers are here. It is, you know, Coach John Calipari's talked about the blue mist that follows the Kentucky right, right. team wherever it goes. <laughs> We've got the is. mist right now. It's falling here outside Bridgestone Arena. It, it really is. It's a uh, it's a overcast day, but everybody coming in and getting ready to go as the Cats get ready to go tonight in search of their 41st. Uh, they've got their a share of their 41st SEC regular season championship. Nobody's had the kind of success that they have had in the regular season, and now. They've got something to play for. They've got a chance to improve their NCAA position. The Cats won a share of their 47th SEC regular season championship, but Texas A&M had the tiebreaker. So Kentucky comes into the league's postseason party as the number two seed. Tonight they take on an Alabama team playing for its postseason life. John Calipari believes his club's journey has got them ready for this challenge, but he knows when you get to the postseason, the first game is often the toughest. A hard thing about the first game, it Alabama, Mississippi, both really good teams. The hard thing becomes that they've played and they've got momentum and you're walking in not knowing and you had to lay around all day. It's a, The hardest game is the first game. After that, you can still lose, but the hardest game is playing that first one when they have already played a game. And it really is difficult. Jen, in terms of getting that first game under the belt, but right. fans don't have that problem, though, do they? No, they absolutely do <laughs> They're not. They're ready from the get-go. That's You know, and game day started early for a yeah. lot of fans here in Nashville. Some of them are enjoying SEC Fanfare, which is across the street from us on Broadway, and then others are heading into Bridgestone Arena to check out this Texas A&M Florida game that is about to start. Hundreds of UK fans packed tin roof on Broadway this morning to be part of Kentucky Sports Radio's live broadcast. It's a sea of blue and white everywhere you go, and fans are fired up for tonight's game and feeling good about the Cats' chances. Oh, it's amazing. Every year we try to come here and be like the first ones in the door. But today we wasn't the first ones, but it's always amazing to be here. And the Big Blue Nation is always invading here, and it's amazing. Walter Taylor from Lexington is one of the lucky ones. He has tickets to tonight's game, but many others will be cheering from bars and restaurants. They say they just want to be part of this SEC tournament excitement. And Dave Baker, we are counting down to tip off here in Nashville. It should be interesting. It'll be the Cats in Alabama tonight at 7 o'clock. We get things going here in just a little bit. Be interesting as Texas A&M. First game of the day against Florida. Florida playing for its postseason life, much like Alabama. The only other big question down here is everybody wants to know what Bill Bryant's pick is. I know you've been inundated with it, and so have I. Yes, and yes. we'll talk about that a little bit later. My pick is cloudy with a chance of rain. <laughs> I, it's more than a <laughs> chance. Uh, we'll talk more about this matchup here from John Calipari and Avery Johnson coming up in sports a little bit later, guys. All right, have fun there. Kentucky has won 29 SEC tournament championships, more than all the other teams in the league combined.